guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe like share comment down below and hit that notification notification bell so that you can be notified whenever i upload a video today i'm going to be sewing a wig on hair that i read that i just um revamped i co-washed it conditioned it let it dry overnight and all that so what i'm doing now is i'm putting the closure on And usually when I do my clothes, I just start from, I go from side to side and then I do the back, the center part. And I'm not going to be doing too much talking on this video because I really don't feel the greatest today. But I'm going to push through so that I can get this content out to you guys. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I am sewing the closure on. And when you sew your closure on, the placement, make sure it's nice and flat so that you don't have any like puckles in the center of your closure. Because if it's not sewn down tight, it will look crazy when you're parting it. It'll look like little ripples in it. So make sure everything is flat and, and even. The white stuff you see on the track is um, glue because I previously made a wig with this hair and it was with the hot glue gun method. And I got most of it off, but some of it was a little bit defiant. It didn't want to come off, so it stayed on. You're not going to see it anyway. But anyway, that's what I want you guys to know that that's glue. That's not dandruff or anything like that. It's glue. Oh, uh, so I was trying to figure out if I was going to make this wig with the sewing machine or hand sew it and I just decided to hand sew it because I just decided to hand sew it <laughs> and I don't cut the track I flip it over and as you see I'm going towards the edge and I um, secure that to make it flat and then I go across and some of the tracks will be double um, will be doubled and I'll show you how I Flip that over and go across on that.
hear the video. I don't know what happened. Right there, just pause. But here I right here I'm um I have the tracks doubled and then I came back and I pulled one part, one track over and secured it down. Because if I tried to fold that whole track over, it would be like a little bit bulky. Maybe even a whole lot bulky. And then now I'm going back and I'm taking the other track and securing it down. And then I'm going to fold it over and basically sew it to the other track that I already sewed down. So it's still double. I just do it in a different kind of way. Okay guys, I'm not gonna record the whole thing. I'm gonna go off camera and do more than halfway done and then I'll come back on to show you guys the progress.
Okay, I got a little bit carried away. I was talking to my friend Irene on the phone while I was sewing the wig. And I went more than halfway up. However, I'm back, you guys. And I'm almost done. And I know I'm going to have to go in and fill in some parts because at the bottom, I doubled too many, um, too many tracks at the bottom. And I'm going to have to go back in and undo a couple of tracks so that I'll have enough hair. Because previously when I did the wig, I didn't double anything. I just did it the glue gun method and that was it. So I'm gonna go back in and take a couple of tracks down and then I actually have some more hair. Um, I'll just go get some hair and fill in what doesn't, um, fill in the rest of the spaces that need to be filled in. See, look at all that right there. Look at that. That's why you don't upload, you don't record videos. We're not feeling 100, but it won't happen again, you guys. I promise it won't happen again. This track that you guys see me sewing in, that's extra hair that I had. And I sure am glad I didn't throw it away because I don't like storing a lot of stuff. And most of the time, I just throw it away because I have so much extra hair left over. And I don't think it's the same type of hair as this, but it's going to be a filler and that's okay too. Hey, you guys, it's almost like I had the perfect amount of extra hair to fill the spaces that needed to be filled. I was like, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I'm done with the wig now, so I'm going to put it back on my canvas head to see. Actually, I'm cutting the, um, the cap off. And when you're cutting the cap off, be very careful that you don't cut the stitching off that you did. Because, man, you have to redo that. And now I'm putting it on the dome head to see where I'm going to part it and all that. And it's a little bit... When you're using the closure that you've used before, you cut mostly all of the net off. Not the net, but the um, lace. And now you have to part it in a way so that you can have the most lace showing. So you can cut more off, I guess, or not cut any off. Yeah. And for, I'm having a hard time parting this, figuring out where the part is. I don't know. But like I said, I didn't feel good. And I'm like, okay, let me get this over with. I didn't know if I was going to wear curly, or well, not even curly because that's not curly hair. I don't know if I was going to wear wavy or put some barrel curls in it or flat iron it or wand it. I didn't know what I was going to do. So I said, let me just save face right now and leave this alone while I'm not feeling good and just um, put some foam on my part and let it sit overnight. And that's exactly what I did. And 
and it did come out super super flat look at that you guys super flat i'll be doing the install on the next video so stay tuned for that okay that's about it for this video um once again thanks for watching i hope it helped if you haven't, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment down below. And as usual, stay blessed.